Nothing, right? Good morning, everybody. Let's get out there to the uh, shine shack. Yeah, that's the word. The boss told me, hey, what? You know what? You're doing it yourself. Hey, wolf. Can you wag your tail today just slightly? Huh? Huh? Never, right? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on out there. Go on. There we go. Uh, yeah, so Janet will be up today. We're, we're running solo on the still for the first time ever. We're going to earn our uh, journeyman distiller wings today. <laughs> Either that or we're going to blow this place sky high. <laughs> Neighbor's place looks good. They got that... Uh, uh, this focus sucks. They got that first coat of uh, paint on there. Right, working on that. They put a lot of money into that place. Looking good. So there's the Wolfster. What are you doing? Getting ready to go up on AFF today. We got the uh, still all loaded up here today. We're cranking. Oh, no, the boss is low and slow. I'm like, get the crap heated up. I blow up the full 21, uh, 21 amps here rolling. Click this on about 6.30, we're around 140 now, and as you guys have learned by now, the action begins around 182 in the kettle, 180, 182. And as soon as we start getting our first offtake over here and check the temperature, if it's a, at 180, it's a moderately good run. If it's slightly below, if it's 180 or slightly below, it's an excellent run. But if she starts cranking, getting up to 182, 183 before we get any uh, offtake here, that indicates a pretty crappy, uh, pretty crappy yield today. That's how fine the differences are when it uh, when it comes to uh, distilling. But uh, this is no day for uh, pussies today when you're soloing out here and running this uh, gear. And of course, the theory of it is we're heating this up in this ferment. And yesterday afternoon, I actually, uh, in this uh, high barrel here, I actually uh, hooked up the uh, red hose you see here with the transfer pump you see in the back and sit it in there. And at first I drained the uh, still, and then I refilled it. I took some of our old tails and heads from the old run, put them in there to clean it up. That's exactly what it does. It makes makes good product out of crap. Now what's happening is, of course, water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit at sea level, but alcohol has a much lower boiling point. I believe it's 172. Alcohol does have a much lower boiling point. So as we raise this up and it begins to boil, the lower the boiling point indicates the more alcohol we have. And so if we're at 180, that's really good. If we're at 184, that's really bad when it starts to boil. That indicates we don't have a hell of a lot of ethanol in here. So we'll be taking it, whatever we start to take off from, whatever point starts to drip down, then we sort of mark the beginning. And then we're going to take it all the way up to about uh, 200 degrees, 202, and that's where we usually end it. Now, as the uh, alcohol tries to come up here, being lighter than water, it will tend to rise. But we have what's called a, a deflagimator, a refluxer that will flood this chamber with cool water from the well. And what that effectively does is that not every time the alcohol tries to come up, go over the top and hit the condenser unit over here, it will hit that cool water on these plates and that will drive the uh, alcohol right back down into the pot again and it just purifies it until it finally reaches the point where the uh, initial alcohols and things are so light and so pure that they pass through the plates, they can't be rectified anymore, deflagimated, condensed, and they come over here, over to the other side, and then the secondary condenser hits them with the cold water and it drops down the parrot here, what they call the parrot here, and it comes out into the glass. And of course, we measure the uh, proof by having a proofometer here, proof and tails, and this goes up to 200, which is pure, and you never distill to 200. It's theoretically impossible. So uh, that's your quick distilling lesson this morning. So <laughs> gonna, uh, I don't think Janet will be here till about 10, 30, 11, so I'm kind of on my own. So we got about uh, 40 more degrees till the action begins. 
and we'll be uh, all set. So we want to be safe, we want to be sane. And remember, don't assume anything you see here is the real deal, except anything for demonstration for YouTube, okay? <laughs> That's our standard disclaimer. Be safe no matter what you do, especially with electricity. I have GFI outlets. All this has been professionally installed by the uh, boss who is a master industrial electrician. So we feel safe. And Wolfie always feels safe in here too. Alright, later.